Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Joy to Key. And I know I've mentioned this in a couple of videos before, but you know, basically, here's what you do. Go to this thing right here, create, let's just run it as a test. Right. You're gonna go just to make sure it uh, works with our respective application of you know using it as a PC, PC games or whatever. This is how to get your joysticks to work. As you can see, here's mine responding just fine. D-pad, all that. But we're gonna go. Settings, associate profile with application. Um, select the default profile. Let's go to test. Add. Now, this is the next part's going to be important. My recommendation do this first. Is this up, kept up, uh, capture the info? Doesn't work so great when I've tried it. Ugh. Okay, as you can see, this is the program. I know I've done a video on this before, but um, here's just to show you the so, shortcut, go to properties, and you go to copy the target, hit OK. There's the file path, and then here you up to the executable part. Copy. Paste. Okay. We're gonna go down, we're gonna see this is the emulator, and then there you go. But we're not done with this one, are we? I'm gonna redo my controls just for this and I'll put them back. Input figure. Um, let's just go up. No, let's just hit clear. Down. There we go. Go back. Let's just start. Now, depending on your controller, we're going to do you know, you just check whatever responds. But um, as you can see, this is my D pad responding, so we're going to do up. You can keep your controls open for reference, but I don't mind by what I just did, so. so Depending on how many control, how many buttons respond with your controller. This is my start button, button 10. It responds button 10 anyway. So, I'm gonna hit enter. And we're gonna go to my open recents. And we're just gonna go and pick. Give me real quick. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, 
Abschließung. As you can see, it'd be a little funny sometimes. Alright, there you go. As you can see, it doesn't work great with emulators a lot of the time. Emulation. As you can see, it works just fine now. Uh, it tends to be a little funny. Let's do duck toes real quick. And you can pick where you want to go. Let's just go to the Amazon. As you can see, it runs fine. I liked the show as a kid. I didn't Look about to play this game, it just tends to be a little picky with the simulator when it wants to work. So, just a little. I don't recommend this in the other video, but um, as you can see, there's your kids responding. And yeah, this will work for any emulator as long as. There we go. But yeah, this just you know, this is a small demonstration. Sometimes you have to restart the emulator or whatever program you're using. Um, but yeah, that's how to map anything for Joy to Key. It works with any game that uses PC controls. Just make sure to carefully map what you're using, and then name it the right one. Uh, like as you can see, I have Band of Heroes. Better for Leaf Killer, Divining of Isaac, Cetra, when I used to use Cetra for stuff, Dreamcast, when certain name haters wouldn't work. And, you know, I use this for DOS controls. This works great for DOS. Um, this is what I used in my DOS tutorial. Um, I've used Reaper, default emergency PS1 controls. Um, I don't think I've associated with these or anything. But I've used. Yeah. I've used a bunch of stuff. TurboGrafx 16 emulator. Um, Tough Guy and DOS. This is what I use when I play DOS games. It works really well. Instead of trying to fight with the emulator to map your controls, you can just use this. And as you can see, it's all set up and. It will respond the same no matter what you choose to switch to. Now, remember what you name your profile, and it should respond to that just fine. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Bye!